I'm Fred Cole from Dead Moon and Pierced Arrows and yeah. our duo thing. And yeah, I'm Tootie. We're here uh, in Athens uh, doing our acoustic <coughs> set, Fred and Tootie Unplugged, to help uh, Last Drive celebrate 30 years together as a band totally and killer. to uh, relish in the beauty and the joy that is Athens. Amazing yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> You know, my, my take on uh, the future of Europe and uh, the future of the world and all the rest of it is that, you know, uh, we have had politicians from the beginning of time who get into office off of what I consider false pretenses and uh, basically tell the people whatever they want to hear. And, uh, and then as soon as they get into office and they've secured their position, everything changes. They go with... What's you know, best for them. What's best for them. <laughs> so, you know, and the kids that see all this going on uh, think, well, when they get old enough, they're going to change things. And I think everybody starts out with the right idea. It's just that they get corrupt as time goes on. And, um, you know, in the 60s, uh, when we were in America, uh, everybody wanted to change everything, and it was great. I mean, we had so many changes, and the music played a big, integral part of everything that went down. But um, looking at the same people from the 60s now, what they've done in California, California has just completely changed. I mean, it's not even the same place. Um, you know, we used to live in uh, Haight-Ashbury and uh, Los Angeles, you know, San Francisco, all over the place. And uh, what's gone down now in those uh, same places is just turned 160. I mean, it's just totally different. They've and it's kind of gone from so the, many the most laws. liberal to the most yeah. not conservative, but the yeah. most and restrictive. The laws of the world have just gotten so strict. I mean, I can't stand the smoking laws. Obviously, <laughs> I'm smoking. Um, well, we're slowly just going to lose. I think everywhere everything. lose a lot of our all the freedoms freedoms that we took for granted. Um, basically. Uh, for what they want us to believe is, is the common good, and in a way it is. I mean, from, from the U.S. point of view and from our generation, I think the biggest accomplishment that, that we had an influence on was civil rights, period, and the treatment of blacks in our society, which was really horrific at the time. And so I think each generation will have, a, you know, a certain contribution that they can make. I don't think any place will ever be utopia. I think that's that's the um, idealism of youth, and I, I, I can't understand why it isn't possible, but it really isn't. I mean, there's just too many yeah. different f factions involved with everything, and uh, religion plays too big of a important role, and so many troubles everywhere around the world, and hopefully at some point we'll uh, you know, all get together and realize that we're uh, basically just the same. We worry about the people that we love, our families, and you know, just want to you don't, you keep just, alive and take yeah. care of each other. And uh, you know, it, it's one thing I really like about Greece, and uh, it's it's a real different uh, take on what other countries in Europe do. And maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like down here, you're more interested in being happy and your family, and there's a lot of hugging and kissing and all the rest of it that goes on, it. which is totally cool. In other countries, they're so stiff. We go yeah. in, we meet people. We're lucky if we shake yeah. their hands. You yeah. know, they're, mo they're, they're so offish. It's all about making and, money and uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, maintaining your place and yeah, your position. You know, and, people you know. do not need millions of dollars to stay alive, <laughs> okay? No. It's like what you need is just enough to keep your dreams alive Yep. Have a little bit of backup so you're not infringing on anybody else for the money that you need. You're earning your own. And, uh, you know, uh, just doing the right thing with things. I mean, I see too many billionaires out there. They got more money than they could ever spend in 20 lifetimes, and they still want more, you know? And, my God. And I don't really feel like they're happy in their life, you know? Yeah, you know? <laughs> And happiness is, is the one thing that I think everybody needs to, to go for. It's like, uh, man, do your dreams. Don't go with what you think your parents want you to do or whatever. Just do your own thing, what makes you happy, 
It's uh, one of the most amazing things you know? about being involved in the musical community period and, and being able to travel like we have and meet as many different people from different cultures. And to just see the, um, the effect that you have on people and how you, even for one night, if you change their lives or influence yeah. them or bring them up when they're down, you know, anything like that. And the, and the, um, the camaraderie between all the musicians is just amazing, like with this last drive thing we just did. Oh, just really incredible. Really, uh, incredible. really a special thing. And, and to yeah, me, that's, really that's how the whole global thing should feel. Okay, that's where we should be at. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a communication on a completely basic universal yeah. level. It's uh, emotional and, uh, you know, uh, the musicians feed off the crowd and the crowd feels that energy and it's... Um, it becomes a family. Yeah. You know, it's one yeah. thing it that... It unites uh, us rather than divides us. Yeah. And uh, with uh, the camaraderie of people, um, it, 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 music joins everybody. It doesn't matter if you speak the same language. It doesn't matter if people understand your lyrics. It's the feeling that you're getting from everything, and it's uh, it's universal. It doesn't matter what country, and it's one thing I love about playing around the world. I I can't hardly speak English, let alone <laughs> anything else. You know, I know, you know, I know the the, the worst words in every language. You know, that's so it's it. like, uh, and that's all I know. But uh, you know, it's uh, a universal theme, and without music, I think the world would just literally your soul would die it's you need it uh it's very important um it's what gets couples together uh it gets you know most people that have met meet at concerts or something else they end up getting married we have so many people come up and go oh my god we went and saw you guys play and i met this girl we got married the next week you know or whatever and now we have four babies and you know <laughs> And uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's just so cool. I mean, we've come at different times and we can see that the economy is down and all the yeah. mini shops are closed and, uh, you know, not happening. Mm -hmm. And buildings that are started and not finished or, you know, uh, and we've seen that in a lot of different places. Um, you know, so you can just tell that things aren't as good as they should be. But um, a lot of times, you know, it, it's something that's, that, that tends to hit the whole world, the more that we end up with a global economy, the more it's going to have that domino effect. And once one thing starts going bad, then so does everything else. And it just takes a long, long time to build it up again. I mean, we're slowly doing that in the US, and everybody's doing it just by borrowing more and more money or making more and more money when really it's not there to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, if, 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 if the governments actually had to live like we did, and if you don't have any money in your pocket, you're homeless, they'd all be homeless, okay? They'd all be out there yeah. somewhere doing God knows what. You know, so it's kind of, um, uh, I don't even know how to it's express it. It's just a nightmare. It, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. It's almost like nothing <coughs> is, is really as it seems. Yeah. And uh, it's like, we're supposed to rely on the, on the, on the governments, but, they don't have it, they've got it together less than we do, you know. Yeah. At least we're all scraping by and taking care of each other. <laughs> yeah. That's more than they can And say. you gotta realize that we see, we see basically when we come here, all we see is the artist community. Yeah. We see people that are creating stuff, whether it's music, film, yeah. books, painting pictures, whatever. Yeah. I mean, we, we, don't can, really still, see we the, can still see the homeless element and yeah. the, uh, the obvious immigrants who are either begging for change or selling stuff on the street and this and that, but we, we pretty much see that at home and in every European yeah. city that we've ever been in. Um, you know, the, the bigger the city, the more you see it, whether it's here, Berlin, uh, you sad. know, um, it really it, it's is. just the way it is in a, in a city but with this kind of population, Los yeah. Angeles, New York, you know, <coughs> wherever. You, you have um, uh, a history that's uh, like Rome and China and You've had these dynasties that went on for so long, and then you went into the dumper. And, and now, after all this time, China, which was one of the biggest dynasties ever, went into the dumper for so many years, and now they're just now coming out of it. And I think they're going to be extremely 
domineering in the world. And, huge uh, world power, economic you know, power at least. And I think everybody has that come around at different times. It's like music keeps coming around, the same things, rockabilly, whatever. Yeah. Everything seems to keep coming around. Goes and I up think, and down. You know, we went through the roaring 20s in the States and stuff. And uh, then we went into our, you know, no drinking, no nothing, and, you know, went into a depression and then World War II and all the rest of it, the 60s. I mean, but we just keep going around in circles. And uh, eventually, you know, I think it, it gets better. It has to get worse before it gets better. And I think right now, I think everybody's just uh, about had it. <laughs> yeah. But that's what causes change. I mean, there's... People just get to the point where they can't stand what's going on, and they just finally say, that's it. They don't elect the same politicians. They get rid of people, and things slowly, I think, will change. The key word is slowly. Very Everything slowly. Everything is incredibly It just slowly. takes a long time. <laughs> Always go with your own heart. Always do what you feel is right. If, if something comes along, and the hairs in the back of your head go up, it's a wrong thing to do. I mean, if it's, whether it's for money or whatever, you know, don't get so desperate that you sell yourself cheap, that you sell out. Just do your thing, be happy, treat everybody else the same way you yourself want to be treated. And uh, when you do stuff to people, ask yourself, is this something that I would like somebody to be doing to me? If, you know, if you're abusive, uh, uh, taking advantage of people, anything like that, that to me is bad karma. And your life is going to go down the toilet for a certain amount of time till you pay that back. Uh, I'm not really a religious person per se, but uh, I do believe all the religion in yourself is, is within inside of you. And uh, if you treat people right and you do the right things, things just seem to come along for you. It's, it's great. But if you're doing the wrong thing, and you ask yourself every day you wake up and you go, oh man, everything I do just sucks. Yeah. Well, it's because you're doing something wrong. You, you gotta get, you know, yeah. you gotta turn the things around that, are, that you're doing wrong and make them right and things will come your way. They really will. I think um, for the kids, it's important to focus on what's the most important to yourself in your life if, yeah. if it happens to be politics, we'll then go that direction. For most people, it's way more internal than that. It's creating a life that's good for you. And, um, you know, and ch changing it by the ripple effect to where, you know, if you're doing right and taking care of yourself and the people around you, the people that you love, um, I think that extends out to the economy or the this or the politics or whatever else. That's, I think that's where change comes and that's why it's so slow. It happens at a small level and just spreads out from there. And, um, and it has to happen with the people that you love, the people that you're close to. Yeah. You have to make sure they're okay before you start sending money to dog shelters or <laughs> you know, whatever. You know, I mean, uh, get real. Take care of the people that you love the most. And if you're able to take, and first off, you've got to take care of yourself because if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take Help care anybody of else, anybody yeah. else. So, A number one, I look at it like you got a pyramid. You've got to be on the top of your own pyramid. And everybody that's right below you, you, you just take care of those and you take care of those, and then yeah. your base is okay. But, you know, uh, you've got to, A number one, I hate to say it, but you just, you got to take care of yourself first. You got to, you are. The most important person in your pyramid. Everybody's got one. Everybody's got a pyramid, and if you're not number one in your pyramid, you can't help the people that are just below you. You know, so. And it's really kind of the you know, only thing we really do have total control over. Yeah. Is our own lives. I mean, um, it's really hard when you're fighting something that's that much bigger than you, whether it's politics or the country in general, uh, it, you know, at different points you, you just feel um, completely hopeless and helpless, you know? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> how much, Take care different, of your own how much arena difference can you make? But and don't worry about the whole table. The All you got to worry about is this, <laughs> okay, in the center, that's where your 
life is at. Yeah. You can't do much about this out here, but if you can, if everybody would take care of their own thing, the rest there wouldn't would take be care of itself. this big thing. <laughs> every, there wouldn't be any problems. I mean, it's like you know. So at least that's what you yeah. hope. <laughs> yeah. yeah.